Hey guys, this is Teacher Plays Now, and today we are back with another tutorial. <laughs> today we are going to be going over a couple fixes to the way commands work right now to make it just a little bit nicer, and we're also going to be doing some other things. So let's jump right into it. So, first thing today, we're going to go mess with the command manager class that we did a little bit ago with the add event subscriber and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add... Um, something to say if it did work, it's going to remove, well, it's just going to remove the message that happens. So we're just going to do, um, oh boy, yeah, event.get message and dot delete, just like that. And that's all we gotta do. Now the message is going to be deleted when we run the command. So that way it doesn't clutter chat when we do commands, and it just looks a little bit nicer, I have to say. I'm not a huge fan of uh, things when they stay in chat like that. I also, we're just going to close out of Command Manager and that now, and we're going to come here into our bot class. Alright, so we have this all perfectly fine. I want to go ahead and set these two things to be private, because they... Oh my goodness, I'm really having trouble. Why can't I click the right buttons? I don't know. Alright, so we're setting both iDiscord client bot and um, command manager commands to be private. We have this git command manager here. You guys might have been questioning why I didn't just do a commands when we were doing this uh, thing for the help command the other day. Well, that's why. Alright. Now we're also going to do something else. So right here we have a new uh or we have our classes and whatnot we're gonna make a new class and we're just going to call this uh or help command we're also going to be putting this inside of the dot commands package all right so i want to show you guys that you can and probably really should go ahead and do this with all of your or do this with most of your commands i don't know i sort of like them all being inside of the main method but you might not, and so you might want to be able to see this. So, extends command, we're going to import command. Um, uh, why is that not? Oh, maybe it's not extends, but it's implements. Yes, yes, yes. I do believe that's what it is. Alright, import, and then add unimplemented methods. We actually don't need to have the unimplemented methods because we're going to come here to main, and we're just going to... Uh, control cut that and then ooh, actually don't just control cut that all right and then right here we're going to do a new help command just like that control shift o all right boom done all right so now inside of here we're just going to paste what we just copied and that's your help command done magic just like that um you can delete that line and just make it really nice and shrunken it's really beautiful how it all works and that is how you can do the command inside of one class. Um, something that you are going to have to do, because the way it works, main.bot command. Alright, so just like that, control shift O, import that, read, delete those lines that are not needed, and go ahead and do a main.bot there. So because you're not doing it inside of this, which, well, you know, it's not terrible. I'm not a huge fan of the way that that works. I would prefer to do it in the new command, but I wanted to show you guys that you could do that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and test this out to show you guys that it all works. So go ahead and click the run button, and as soon as it all finishes up, connected to Discord Gateway, alright, we should be good. Come over here, let's go ahead and do the ping command. It should delete it and send out a pong command, just like that. And then we should also be able to do the help command, and it still works perfectly fine just like that it's really nice all right so seems that i have my tj pot that oh boy that was fun all right so that is all we need for that now we're going to go ahead and come back over here to eclipse and we are going to actually create two new um things also oops not that i did not mean to name this uh commands with a capital c it should be lowercase for convention reasons but we're going to create a new class, and we're going to put this inside of, um, configs. Um, and we're going to call this config, actually. 
Alright, and then we're going to create one more new class, and we're going to call this one File. And that is that. Alright, magic. Now, down in the description of this video, this is the third video, hopefully I can remember to put it there, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to want to copy, and then paste it in like this. Alright, so go ahead and copy all of that, and this is the config class right here, so double click that and paste it, just like that. Now control shift O, drop it at you till that list, always, and then, um, now we have to go ahead and copy in the file, and you're going to see a whole bunch of errors if you don't copy in this one yet, and then go ahead and double click there, paste that in, alright, control shift O, drop it at U till that list, and the file one, I actually have gotten from somewhere else, thank you, I'm actually, I can't remember where I got it from, but now you can see both of these work, these are, uh, the config one is a class that I put together myself, it's actually a really nice thing to use for configuration stuff, it's not the best, it's not your Minecraft, or your bucket config file but it works and that's what we need so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and make a private um config and call it token all right just like that Control shift o to import the config and then just like that we can go ahead and do token equals new config and then new file just like this, and for the string or path of this, all we are going to do is type in token like that. That is going to make the token file, and that should work perfectly fine. Um, change token to static, yeah, we have to do that. Alright, so now, instead of doing this here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that, I'm going to paste it down here, so that way I still have it, but we're going to do token get object and then this is just going to be um, our token so what we want this to be set to is just token like that and then we're going to do a comma and then a variable right here um wait do I not have I do have a set I swore I had something else uh, maybe not I guess it's fine um, no, I really thought I did. Alright, well, I'm going to show you guys how to make a magic thing right here. So we're going to do a public string get object, sort of like that one up above. We're going to require a string and a path and a string default. Alright, then go ahead and click down here. Um, so string, um, obj equals like that. And then we do obj equals get object like this, and then the path that it requires. And then if obj is equal to that, what we need to do is go ahead and do a set um, path to be the default, and then return the default. Just like that. Or no, not the default. Um, obj. And so then obj equals default like that. That's what I meant to do. And that is good. So you're going to have to add that in yourself. I totally forgot about it. That's alright though. You should be able to do that, guys. And then we should be all good with the config file. You can close that out now. So token and then the thing that we put here is actually just going to be uh, uh, put token here in all caps surrounded by square brackets that way we know exactly where it means that we're putting the token then we can go ahead and control cut the token and then delete two lines all right now we are going to go ahead and export this bot for the first time ever we are no longer going to be able to run it using the eclipse debug because of the way that the token works in Eclipse files apparently don't work properly. I'm not quite sure why, but it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and export this as a Java runnable jar file. So click next. All right, we can just 
very easily click that. Then we're just gonna export this to the desktop as, um, well, we wanna name it Tutorial Bot, just like that. And finish. Uh, this operation repacks reference libraries. Yes, do not show this message again and click OK. Now, if we go ahead and minimize this and this, we should see tutorial bot here on the desktop. Yes, it is. All right, so now in our um, magic thing, we can go ahead and type in command prompt. So that way we can load in command prompt, or load the Java project in command prompt. So what we're gonna wanna do is type in Java minus jar, and then drag and drop the jar, just like that. And then it should start running the bot it's very nice and nifty on how it runs it. Now you can see that we have a tutorial percent 20 dB dad jar token. You know, it's gonna error. Also, it did error because, well, the token's not right. We are going to go ahead and change two things that I forgot completely about. Alright, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to select this tutorial bot dad jar file and copy the name. So that way we have it. And then we're coming back here to Eclipse. Now, inside of uh, the file, this is where we want to go, we're going to need to add a dot replace to it. Alright, so basically, what it does is it gets the um, location of the jar. So, what we had to do is do lock, dot e or lock equals lock dot replace. So, then we are going to just replace tutorial space bot dot jar with nothing. Just like that. Go ahead and save it and then export it again, and we should be all good. Export, yes, yes, and it finished exporting now, and we should be able to just rerun that, and delete that version of it, because that file should not be there anymore. Um, it should have made a new file, did it not? Uh, let's see. Slash user slash, oh, no, it didn't make a new file, it do uh, Huh, did I not do, what did I not do right? Hold on. If I come back here, I definitely saved that. Tutorial space bot dot jar. Um, maybe if I do percent 20. I don't know if that's why. That possibly is why though. All right, so export runnable jar, boop boop, yes. All right, and then come back here and just click up button and that looked like it worked yes all right cool now what we can go ahead and do is right click this and edit it with your notepad or notepad plus plus i would suggest notepad and what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to grab the token um that apparently i deleted without meaning to delete at that time then we can go back to notepad plus plus and paste the token in Save it, and then close out of that, and move back over to our other screen. And now we should just be able to run the bot for the last time. And it should all work. It looks like it is working now. Um, so you shouldn't be able to type, apparently. I'm pretty sure that's on purpose, actually. I forgot that we needed to add something to make it so we can type, and that's alright. We don't need to type right now. So, connected, and we should be all good. If we come over here to our um, Discord right here, we should be able to type in ping, just like that, and it palms. All right, now the last thing that we want to cover in today, it's going to error when we try to type in ping, even though it still works, it just errors. And it's saying that we cannot delete the other person's message in a private channel. Now, there is a huge fix to this that's pretty easy to do. So inside of, um, our command manager for the last time actually I was wrong so inside of command manager what we want to go ahead and do is before we do event dot get message dot delete we want to do an if um, channel um, dot is private so if not channel is private and then go ahead and surround it in our curly braces and that is all we need to do it's that easy bam magic Alright, so we can go ahead and delete or close all of these. We don't need to be in any of them. I'm pretty sure that is all that we need 
going to need to cover for the next little while. I'm going to wait for you guys to uh, tell me what you guys want to see next. I have no clue what you want to see, and I'm open to anything. I need to go and re-export this now. So, runnable jar. Finish. Yes. I think I will actually show you guys um, command line stuff for commands, so that way you're not running commands inside of um, your uh, Discord server to control the bot all the time. So if you want to stop the bot from running, you can run a command inside of uh, the console or console command prompt. Yeah, you guys knew what I meant. I hope. Alright, so that's what you're going to be able to do. You're going to be able to type in stop to stop it, rather than clicking control C to stop it, like I just did. You can type in stop, but I have not done that yet, and, well, we'll work on it. So, let's go ahead and just rerun the bot. Not stop, but... You can see that I did type in stuff, it just didn't print it out to the screen that I did. Alright, so just rerun the bot one last time. Now, if I go ahead and type in, oh, I just went to actual Discord, not what I meant to do. If I type in ping into here, and then come back here, it should not error, and it didn't. All good. Alright, so we will see you guys in the next episode. I'm actually pretty sure I just made my mind up on what we're doing next episode, so I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.